making this chemistry video for jam candidates because of all the complaints I've gotten, how chemistry is difficult, how you are reading and you are not understanding. So I just want you to give me your ears, give me your attention as we begin to profile solution to these expected questions from jam. What we'll be looking at now and what we'll be reviewing and looking at the answers are real jam questions, right? Real expected questions from jam. I need you to give it full attention. Let nothing distract you. Of course, you know, this particular one we are looking at, this particular year, there were about 40 questions and only about one of one or two. One or two, only about one or two out of 40, that was 2021, uh, were involving calculations. There were many questions, about 38 questions that involved, that didn't involve calculation, and these are the ones we'll be looking at. So in this particular video, instead of moving from 1, 2, 3, we're moving from 40, 20, 39, 38, up. We're moving from down to up. Instead of moving from 1 to 40, we're moving from 40 to 1, right? Are you still following? Number one, I want you to pay attention. The process by which salt and water reacted in a limited way to form an acid or a base is called dash. The process, the process by which salt and water react in a limited way, in a limited way to form an acid or a base is called dash. A, neutral process. B, basic acid process. C, hydrolysis. D, sublimation. The answer is what? Hydrolysis. Salt had, look at the reason. Salt hydrolysis is a reaction in which one of the ions from a salt reacts with water, forming either an acid or a base. This one is different from neutralization reaction. Your first assignment, your first assignment is tell me the meaning, define neutralization reaction. I'm sure if you have done titration in your school, you should know neutralization reaction. Tell me the meaning. I know why I give you assignment. Any assignment I give you are very important. They are compulsory. There's something I've seen concerning the coming Jamba exam that made me to give you that assignment. So go over and tell me the meaning. Define neutralization reaction. Remember, in this channel, our target is 300 for you and above. You will gain admission this year. I want you to claim it. You will score 300 and above. I want you to claim it. You will not be among those that will score 150, 130 in this jam. No, it is not for you. Out of the 2 point something million persons that registered for jam this year, your result will be one of the best. If you claim it, type, I claim it in the comment section. Tell me the score you claim. In our channel, our goal is for you. Every member, every subscriber of Noble Tutorials YouTube channel, our target is 300 and above. If you claim 300 and above, type I claim it and tell me the score you claim. For that, your claim to come to pass, we must keep being serious. Question 39. The 14 elements, atomic numbers 90 to 103, after actinium, are called dash. The 14 elements, atomic numbers, that is those, this one is not first 20 elements, so this one is element 90 to 103. After actinium are called dash. A. Actinoids. B. Nucleotide. C. Preactinium pre elements. D. Atomic elements. The answer is, the answer is A. Actinoids. After actinium, after 90, after 89, right, we get 90. So from 90 to 103 are called actin actinoids. Actinoids, say it, actinoids, okay? Let's proceed. I hope you are following. The molar enthalpy, remember, what you are watching is part six. We have done several other videos on chemistry. So I encourage you, after watching this particular video, go and start from part one. We have done quite a lot of expo questions, explanation questions, expected questions, questions that answer past questions on chemistry. Stop complaining that chemistry is difficult and start preparing. 
one of the ways to prepare is to start from part one and keep reading as you proceed. The molar enthalpy change. The molar enthalpy change accompanying the removal of an electron from a gas phase atom or ion in its ground state is called dash. The molar enthalpy change accompanying the removal of an electron from a gas phase atom or ion in its ground state is called dash. A. The molar enthalpy change A. Electron gain enthalpy B. Ionization enthalpy C. Enthalpy change D. Enthalpic gas remover. The answer, like you might have already seen, is B. Ionization enthalpy. Remember the question. The molar enthalpy change accompanying the remover, remover, remover of an electron from a gas phase atom is what? Ionization enthalpy. I have an assignment for you. Second assignment. The second assignment is for you. Tell me the difference between enthalpy and entropy. I've given this assignment before, but I'm repeating it because I see it is very, very important for this coming jumbo exam you are preparing for. Tell me the difference between enthalpy and entropy. In the troposphere, the two types of pollutants are in the troposphere, the two types of pollutants are A, gaseous and particulate pollutants, B, carbon and metallic pollutants, C, natural and man-made pollutants, D, sulfuric and nitrogenous pollutants. The answer is A. In the troposphere, 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 we have gaseous and particulate pollutants. So remember, if you watch this particular video, if you watch this particular video from here to the end, I'm going to you are going to qualify to receive free jam pass questions and free jam syllabus so that you can sit yourself down and study. Remember that this jam exam is not like Wayek, it's not like Neko. You need to be extra serious. What did I say? You need to be extremely serious. You need to give it your 100 101% effort. Sit down and study. Sit down and read. I will keep doing my best giving you videos, but I will not be there with you in the exam hall. So let's look at the meaning of the troposphere. The troposphere is the first and lowest layer of the atmosphere of the Earth. I hope you can look at the screen. The troposphere is the first and lowest layer of the atmosphere of the Earth and contains 75% of the total mass of the planetary atmosphere, 99% of the total mass of water vapor and aerosols, and is where most weather phenomenon occur. The gaseous and part particulate pollutants in the troposphere are gaseous pollutants and particulate pollutants. I hope you are following. I just gave you a simple explanation. Which of the following is not a physical property of monosaccharides? I'm sure you know monosaccharides. Which of the following, remember what you are reading, what I'm giving you are real jam, this is not manufactured, this is real jam questions. I need you to pay great attention to them. Which of the following is not a physical property of monosaccharides? A. Monosaccharides get charred when heated. B. Monosaccharides are water soluble, sweet, sweet substances. Remember, we say which of the following is not, not, not to C. They are highly vital to the exploration of metals. D. They can be reduced to sugar alcohols. The answer is C. Which of the following is not a physical property of monosaccharide? The answer, they are highly vital to exploration of metals. Others are physical properties like monosaccharides get charred when heated. Okay, look at the explanation. Monosaccharides form a black residue of carbon when dehydrated. They have a sweet taste. They are reducing sugar. Pure monosaccharides are water soluble, white, and crystalline solutes. Solids. Are you learning? Please, if the videos I'm making are helpful to you, let me know. So that it will motivate me to make more videos. Sometimes I feel as though I am wasting my time in making these videos. But
God is for you are helpful. Please let me know. Also, if you need me to give you the link to all the videos I've done on chemistry so that you can start from part one to watch, let me know and I could give them to you. If you want me to give you the access to all the videos I've done on Lucky Headmaster, all the videos I've done on use of English, all the videos I've done on physics, on chemistry, on biology, just mention the name of the subject in the comment and tell me to give you the, the access to all the videos I've done in that particular subject. Are you following? If you are following, let me know. The compounds made up of only carbon and hydrogen are called A, carbon, com carbon compounds, B, hydrocarbon, C, atoms, D, carbon hydrolysis. Of course, you know, hydrocarbons are compounds made up of carbons and hydrogens. Whenever you hear carbons and hydrogens, your mind should go straight to hydrocarbons. Let me give you an explanation. In chemistry, hydrocarbon is a hydrocarbon is a is an organic compound consisting entirely of hydrogen and carbon. Hydrocarbons are examples of group 14 hydrides. Hydrocarbons are generally colorless and hydrophobic, and their odors are usually weak or exemplified by the odor of gasoline and lighter fluid. Natural sources of hydrocarbon are coal, natural gas, and petroleum. Please, this thing I'm saying, I hope you will not disappoint me. Will you disappoint me? I hope you will not disappoint me in this exam. It takes me a lot of time. I'm very busy. I'm a school proprietor, right? I have about three schools I'm running. But I take my time to give you these videos. I hope it will not be a waste of my time. 34. The process or act of extracting a metal from its ore and refining it is called dash. The process of extracting, the process or act of extracting a metal from its ore or refining it is called dash. A. Extraction. B. Metal mining. C. Metallurgy. D. Prospecting. The answer is metallurgy. Metallurgy, the process or act of extracting a metal from its ore. That is when you extract the ore, right? You now extract the metal from its ore. I hope you are following. Or refining a metal is called metallurgy. I, I did computer engineering in school, and while in school, I, I had classmates, my friend that did metallurgical engineering. This is basically what they do. Metallurgy is the art or science of extracting metals from its ores and modifying the metals for use. Are you with me? It is also defined as a domain of materials, materials, science, and engineering that studies the physical and chemical behavior of metallic elements, the intermetallic compounds, and their mixtures, which are known as alloys. Which are known as what? Alloys. Okay? Let's look at question 33. I mean question 30. 33. We have answered question 34. If you are benefiting from these videos, please let me know. It will motivate me to do more. A binary compound of oxygen with another element is, re is referred to as dash. A binary compound of oxygen with another element is referred to as dash. A. Oxide. B. Element C. Carbon. D. Nitrogen. The answer is oxide. Whenever you hear oxide, and oxide is a chemical compound that contains at least one oxygen atom and another element in its chemical formula. I don't need to say it again. I believe you already understood that. Okay? Let's look at this question 32. I want to believe that you are following. At the end of this video, if you watch this video till the end, you will qualify to receive free jam pass question and free jam syllables from me free of charge i will tell you how to get it at the end of this video the reactions involving simultaneous oxidation and reduction the reactions involving simultaneous oxidation and reaction and reduction is that is known as that a automatic reaction b alternate reaction c reduction agency d redox reaction the answer is simple the answer is a redox reaction redox reaction Okay, redox is a type of chemical reaction in which the oxidation states of the substrate of the substrate change 
Oxidation is the loss of electron in an inc or an increase in the oxidation state, while reduction is the gain of electron or a decrease in the oxidation stage. Let me read for you again. Redox is a type of chemical reaction in which the oxi oxidation state of the substrate changes. Oxidation is the loss of an electron, while reduction is the gain of an electron. If I were you, I will repeat it until it enters my medulla. Question 31. Are you still with me? Are you still here with me? A chemical process, a chemical process in which there is a gain of electron is called dash. A chemical process in which there is a gain of electron is called dash. Question 31, I will not answer. I will not give you the answer of question 31. Tell me the answer in the comments. It's an assignment. A chemical process in which there is a gain of electron is called dash. Is it, is it sublimation? Is it reduction? Is it oxidation? Is it distillation? Tell me the answer in the comment section. Okay? Let's move on. Let's move on to question 29. The only metal that is antibacterial is dash. The only metal that is antibacterial is dash. A. Iron. B. Sodium. C. Aluminium. D. Copper. The only metal that is antibacterial is dash. The answer is D. Copper. Copper is the only metal that is antibacterial. That is kills bacteria. Are you with me? Okay, let's look at this question. In the next video, we will continue from where we stop. We will continue moving on from question 28 and we will keep moving on. For you to receive the free jam syllables and free jam pass question, what you have to do here are four things. Number one is compulsory. Number one, join our YouTube channel. That is compulsory. If you want to talk to me, you get access to me. You have to join our YouTube channel, Noble Tutorial. So find, you can see the option, click on join, join, follow the prompts. It will give you direct access to ask me questions, access to me. Number two, like this video. Just boop the like button immediately. It, does, it shouldn't take your time. Number three, number three is share this video. Click on share, just share it here on YouTube. Click on share again, share, copy the link when you click on share. Post that link on Facebook groups, on WhatsApp group, on Telegram groups, on Twitter. Just share the link across board. Everywhere you are connected that there are jam, jam bites. Just share, share it to your classmates, your classmates, your, your class WhatsApp group. Just share to them. Very important. And then lastly, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Noble Tutorials. When you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Remember, number one is compulsory. Join our YouTube channel. That is the number one then when you have joined like this video share this video and subscribe once you subscribe remember you must have submitted all the assignments i gave in this particular video submit the assignment then when you have subscribed come under the comment of this video and type i have subscribed i have subscribed remember if you need the link to the other videos i've done just mention the subject and tell me to give you the link I will give it to you. Once I see you type of subscribe, I will chat you up and send you all the materials you need. There's a video I'm leaving for you on the screen. Click on it now and watch now.